Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here. Today's video, we're doing a little bit of a makeover on our, I think it's called like a vestibule or like a porch. It's like an internal porch. So we've got our front door, then we've got that wooden door. So it's that little tiny space in between. And we've not touched it since we moved in and we thought we would give it a little bit of a makeover and share it with you today. So if you wanna see what we do with it, then just keep watching. Let's get into the video. Right, we're talking vestibule styling today. This is a quite hard area to show you because of the window. Let me come over here, actually. So we've got this little entrance way where our front door is, and it's just looking a bit boring, a bit bland, so we thought we would decorate it. We've decided not to change the floor because I don't mind that it's like no. old looking, and yeah. we were only gonna replace it with old looking type yeah. of, you know, like the herringbone, like brick tile. But for now, we're just gonna leave them, so they're fine. So we're gonna do some paneling on here, put some like wall hooks up, and we've got a paint sample, so we're just gonna pop that on the wall today. We've gone for this one by Crown, this is called Light Fern. So we'll see what that looks like. I wanted something that wasn't too dark. I was originally gonna go for quite a dark color in here, but when you have this uh, wooden door closed, it kind of blocks a lot of light. So I was thinking if you then paint this dark, it's gonna block even more light and make it feel even darker. But I think we're just gonna keep it like a light, not light, but you know, not too dark. So I'll try that one on the wall, we'll see. Blurry. I know, it's because it's a light wall. Because it's all white, yeah? All white. All white? Oh, I feel like that's nice, actually. Do you? Obviously, it needs to dry down. I like it's got quite a warm tone Wind to it. a fair bit on there, go on. I need all game in. That's it. That's lovely, that. It is a bit like the boot room, isn't it? But it's slightly warmer. <laughs> Yeah, it's more of a, yeah, it's different to be fair. It's more of an olive, isn't it? Are you happy with that then? Yeah, Good. not too dark, is it? And then I've also got this one oh, by Julia. When did you get that? We tried this one in the living room, overtly oh. olive, no, so I'll no. try that one as well. <gasps> Good job. <laughs> Similar actually, is it a bit lighter? Which is, I think it's a bit lighter. Good roll that this one. That actually spin that part. No, I know it's because it's all dried. Do you know what I mean? Oh, bloody oh. hell! It's not on the floor. It's alright, innit? I mean, they look identical to me. Well, it's like darker, I suppose. This is drying down darker than I thought actually. It's really hard to tell because you're gonna paint it twice on the wall anyway. Hmm, that one's a lot. That one is darker, isn't it? The lower one on the left. That's not you, is it? Oh, yeah. So you. <laughs> <laughs> you done a terrible this job there. Terrible. <laughs> the living room should be more of a like a brown. Like, a... like these ones that we've got on the back of here. Probably darker, maybe. No, I like that one on the right. Yeah, that's, that's nice. my favourite one for, for the living room. Go on, Matt. Can't remember what it is, but I'm, I've written it down somewhere. Uh, but we've been testing a few different ones. That I think that one there is Joa's white. We've got like a shaded white, I think. These are all Farambol colours. But I like this one because it's kind of more like a like a warm toned. I guess it is beige, isn't it? I don't really want everything to be beige, but then again, I don't want everything to be green either. So I want it to still feel cohesive. I feel like that goes quite nicely, like even with the green, you know? Well, that one goes better with the green. Because we thought we might as well use what we've already got in the garage. And we have this left over from the bathroom when we did the bathroom decorating. Um, so we might as well just use it, mightn't we? Oh, yeah. That's going to be all right. Like yeah, and then we'll just put like a bit, bit of um, bit of beading. beading on top. Paint it. Put the hooks on there. The hooks on the wall. On the wall, I think. Yeah. Lovely job. Mark has cut the MDF now, so it's going to fit in in place. It's snug. It's snug. Yeah. This is the. This is the stuff we use for the sink in our bathroom. What is it? It's like a bond high strength. Right, so that's Mighty it. strength, this is. Mighty. Go on then.
So Mark's just wedged that piece of wood down there just so this bit doesn't come out because it was still like not sticking. So it's just going to be wedged that. there for a little bit till it sets. Yeah, 24 hours I reckon. Yeah, get some wood to go on the top well, of I've this. Well I've got that cut haven't I? I know, I think that might be a little bit too thin though. Right, so we've got more. That looks smart, doesn't it? That looks good. So this was what? Skirting board? Architrave. Architrave. So we had some spare architrave. We were going to use this one, but this was just a little bit too thin, wasn't it? Because of the thickness yeah, of this. Yeah, this is quite grand, isn't oh, it? That looks cool, yeah. And when it's all painted one colour, this is why you should always keep off cuts, isn't yes. it? Because they come in useful, don't they? My garage is a hoarder's dream. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, lovely. That would be nice. And then I think the hook's on this bit, actually. Makes you think, no, that you could have it all the way around. Oh, God, no. Oh right, no but I want it, I oh, know, but we want it down the bottom don't we, so it goes around all the way, that's too thick I think, if we're going to yeah. do that, we were going to do something like that up the stairs weren't we, in the middle, this one, yeah, oh yeah, like that, and then right. paint the bottom all one colour, I, th I still think that's a little bit too thick though, I think a little bit so smaller, it's, it's the one. same, it is that oh, one, it's, it's that one, it's how is it, bigger than this one, though. Renzo's bedroom, See, this is bigger. Renzo's room. When well, you did the wardrobe. Don't knows. Anyway, it'll work for there, won't it? Come We're going to go with this colour now. The original one, which is the uh, crown paint. I think it's more warmer now when you look at them together on the wall. This is a bit more smart. We add some of this good. stuff to um, stick it on. Basically, you put this glue onto the wood and then you spray like the wall with this quickly before you put the wood on the wall. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But it's for for this, and it's just stuck it on. And you like hold it there for ten seconds. Yeah. That's proper glued it down, isn't it? <laughs> it's rapid, isn't it? That was quick. Yeah. I Do you know why I got this? Doesn't look like it's gonna come off. I got it for the the stairs and all that. Oh right. Yeah. You never seen it before? No, I've never seen that. It's this like a two part system. Yeah, that's what me and the carpenters have been using when we did some bits and bobs. And bobs. That's the first time I've ever used it on my own. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? That's good. That looks nice. Yeah, I like that. You like that? And then when it's all painted one colour, it's just going to come together. Nice, love it. Good morning, it's day two of the festival makeover. I'm starting my day with a coffee. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. We're probably going to get a lot of it done today, actually. It's the painting day today, so Mark's just prepping the walls for me. Um, and then we're going to get painting, so it looks really good. Yeah, Mark's going to do the ceiling. And then I'll do the walls. Probably doesn't look any different, but this is all stuck now. Looks really good. I like it. So I'm leaving the beans, yeah? This is, that's, that glue stuff yeah, was really yeah. good. That's proper stuck, that. It's our little hack now, isn't it? We can use that on everything. Yeah, solid though. So just filling in like any holes and things. And then we're, we actually went with this color in the end. It really doesn't look much different, but this one does look slightly cooler. Cool. So we're going with the warmer toned green. Yes. It's gonna look gorgeous. And the ceiling and everything, no cutting in. Oh my god, there's a big old spider up there. Catch him and oh, chuck him outside. Lovely. You know, are you really catching? Uh, no. They're <laughs> <laughs> all coming in in a minute, aren't they? Yeah. It's like spider season, isn't it? Yeah. We've got the radio set up. This is that pure one that we got. It's so good. Bang what's your favourite? What's your favourite radio station? Mark's is Radio Two, is it? <laughs> yeah, I know, but you like that Ken Bruce, don't you? Is he on Radio Two? Oh, is he on here now? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez. greatest hits! <laughs> greatest hits! Oh, I like them all, me. Great. Heart seventies? No, I'm joking. Uh, what about? What I don't mind heart seventies actually. Oh, I like a bit of Capital Dance. To be fair, what's that? Capital oh, that Dance. That's what we listen to while on site. Get out of I'm it. Serious? Nah. Yeah, because it gets you motivated. Weird, isn't yeah. it? Chin blur. Oh yeah. We right. really love it. You're distracting me. Yeah, I was just there. saying like how much I love this door. It's just so lovely, isn't it? Really? Such a smart door. Oh, I can't believe that used there. to be the front door. I told you this. I don't believe it. I'm telling you now. There's other houses down the road and they've not got this door. They they got the same porch, no front none they got this door. What have they got there? Nothing. Oh, I see what you mean. This oh, right. Well, it does look like a proper lock, doesn't that's it? That's right. There, actually. You can see as well. We have this one bit of glass. For that one. That's so not... you can see through, yeah. Yeah. So when someone's standing oh, outside. Oh, I don't think I'd want all that glass for my front door, though. Yeah. It's oh, quite a lot of glass, 50s, isn't it? Back in the 50s, it probably. See right in. Yeah. So back in the day, it would have been someone's come to your house. See, I'm knocking on your door. Yeah. All right. All right. You're not coming in. No. Oh my but god. Now, we've got the front door, you could avoid anyone that doing that, could you? Oh, so yeah, yeah, I suppose and there's a little letter 
box there, yeah, isn't it? The little that. for the letters. That's mm. why they had the doorbell on it. Look. That's mad, that. Because this would have been the door. So I think the previous owners put this door in. It's not that old, is it? No. But it's quite good. It keeps it warmer, doesn't it? Ragnar, he's a curious one, I tell you. He's almost run out of this door about three or four he times now. He likes to. Well, he's outside. He likes to. He loves coming garden. outside of us. It's not like he never waits by the door though, to go eyes. out. He's gorgeous. The lovely eyes. But yeah, he's he's very curious. This one, confident curious little lad. Yes, that's it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna hoover it now. Hoover the floor. Right then. Get that spider out. I'll finish what my I'm coffee. <laughs> I'll paint the ceiling, I'll have to come down. Yeah, as far as you want. Right, I'll yeah, down. bring it right down. But then the question is, are you painting this? Please. I'm a bit, I don't know about that, because that's already painted in like a satin paint. It's already shiny. So I don't really know what to do with that, or whether we just leave it. We leave it all white. All oh, right. Mm, I'm a bit. You'll be painting this black. Am I though? Am I? I think you are, I think I'd be I don't know, I'm a bit worried about doing that. I think you need that completely. It might look a bit strange if you just leave that bit white and then paint the window a bit black. I but then I don't, I think cool. it's too much to paint that black, that whole inner bit. Yeah. It's looking good. Transformation, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm thinking? I feel like that. It's giving me moody vibes. I feel like the inside of that window has to be white. Painted. No, really? Painted. I like the white. I like it. Yeah, no, I think it needs to stay as is. What, not Brings a little bit of light in it. Yeah, I feel like that needs to stay yeah. white. I could paint it all white and freshen it up a bit. <laughs> Okay, so I've cleaned the floor. It's come up quite well, hasn't it? It's definitely lighter, isn't it? It's come up a lot brighter than what it was, so that's good. And we're now deciding on where to put the hooks. We actually changed the hooks. We bought some different ones originally. It's too low. Too low, isn't it? We're thinking putting it above. I don't know, but then it stick. Then the the basket sticks out a little bit. No, because we're going to put a picture above it. Yeah, we got loads of room. Looks. It's not really the right height. I don't think for like a. Only because that bag's hanging down, doesn't it? The bag sticks out a bit too much, doesn't it? I need to get a different type of bag. Let me just go this get an... I've got... Tricky. I have got another type of basket holder. That sticks out a bit too much as well, doesn't it, I think? you got, like, there, like a coat would be that high, isn't it? I see, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a bit tricky, because we're going to put a picture above it. Uh, probably not... Well, maybe this one, maybe not. I'm not sure yet, are we? I think it does go in here with that. Mm, yeah. Matter, can't see the rail one over uh, I think the bag is sticks out too much. I need a flatter type of bag or basket. Do you know what I mean? So we're going with this height. It's kind of like in between coat hanger height and a, it's like and a little bit lower because we're going to put a picture above it anyway. Three different hooks and we've gone for gold. Gold. Goldy. Gold what we do is actually do it. Use the ones. Do you want them snug or not? Snug or just actually? Okay, so this is how everything is now looking and it just feels so much nicer. We've got a new doormat. I got that from Dunelm the other day. It's kind of like um, a jute style doormat. We managed to put that basket on there in the end and it doesn't stick out too much because I've kind of like flattened it and I've put some dried flowers in there just to make it look really pretty. And then we've got that picture up there, that painting that we got from the charity shop a little while ago. This is how that looks and I think it looks so nice. 
it's just a little bit more inviting isn't it as you come through the door and then over here I've also just popped um, a reed diffuser that I've got actually quite an old one so I need to refill it but I do really like the fact that it's green so it kind of goes with the area and I think it all looks really pretty it's such a hard area to vlog because of the window the window just kind of goes too bright and then you can't actually see the area properly but I feel like you can see it quite nicely here so that is what our new entrance looks like Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It just feels so much more us now. And I love that it's just had a little bit of our own stamp put on it. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.